Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? Dave Floyd here with set 75054. Actually, it's a parts one. And we're missing some towels and, uh, and some, I gotta fit some more here, obviously. Some missing pieces on this side. These two gray ones here are missing on the back side. But I was trying to, um, well, this is one that's missing the part of the head, the face plate. <clears throat> If you look in the movies, Empire Strikes Back, the one that the head is blown off, or even the one that crashes down, there's like fuel stains or something back here and some rust. Now, I tried to do some dotted patterns, but it just looked like I had chunks of Lego stuck together. And then I broke this panel down and made smaller panels so the panels were sunken inside, creating more of a damaged look. But then it looked too much, like it was wrecked, like I'd been shot in the you-know-what. So that didn't work. Let's go ahead and let Luke's door open up. I love that play feature. Anyways, so I just did what I was, I was missing panels. And I had these reddish red ones and I fitted them. I thought, you know, that looks like rusted. And I was gonna do all of them. I thought, no, that's too much. Just do one, maybe one in the middle. But I think this one right here is fine. And did this one here. I did not do the other side. So I don't think I may do the other side. I need to do the one side. I thought about doing the feet. See those pieces missing there? Yee. I thought about doing like panels here, but it looks too square. And in the movies, the feet look fine. They just, the, most of the rust damage is back here and along edges, it runs down, which, you know, it looks like it's real. So, and there's like some damage here, but this is Lego, so you're a little bit limited. Uh, anyways, there's just some thoughts from the community on that. I think it's, it's something that if I did too much of, it would look like it's a derelict that needs to, you know, go to Jakku or something. Anyways. That's one thing I want to draw attention to. And then the other thing was this. The whole faceplate is missing, and I could piece it together. But I got the set cheap with the idea of, I was going to do the blown up head with the smoke coming off. But doing the black smoke gray, I was really hard because gray and white smoke pieces look great, especially some black. But when you already got a gray build, it's hard. So Laurie suggested I should do like a fiery explosion, like... The scene that's not shown in the movies where the, the snow sphere crashes in, or maybe we can pretend it's one that Luke blows up from the bottom. I mean, the plug door's already open, so. I was trying to do the flame piece, and originally I just had them stick up, and it didn't look right. So I took this boulder piece. Now, granted, this is just a mock up. I will have to use a trans orange boulder here, and I can use the side pieces to have the flames coming out here. I'm not sure what to do here. May that just be the explosion? I can do reverse studs here, have some flames coming down. But maybe just a fireball from the inside with the whole face gone now. Maybe that's, that's the winning thing. Obviously we'll have to experiment with what works, flame pieces coming out or, right now it looks like a guy hit the head with a boulder, which is ironic because I'm actually using a piece here which normally the faceplate would be attached to. Anyways, I'm still kind of torn about that. I like this effect really. And if I do I ever did a hoth mock, I would do some weathering on each one of these, just to, one to dif differentiate, you know. Just to make it a little bit different. But I do look, love this play feature. I love the door these things. And I love the way these sides open up. It's not actually probably as good as a 2021. But 2014, they nailed it with this the actual hinges piece. And of course, having that feature with the floor and the bottom, it's pretty good. But anyways, enough yapping about that. So give me some thoughts and thoughts about that. I, I'm not sure. Like I said, trans orange is probably what's going to work. I don't know if I should use, I think a single ball, single explosion coming out, or maybe I can use a round disc with explosions coming out this way. One of those uh, four bite pieces or the little ones I can use for like spider droids. One of those here with the flames coming off in different directions. That might be better. But anyways, y'all take care. Appreciate the views out there, the great community. Let's keep building and let me know what you think and mocks you're doing and what you about think about play scale ATATs and stuff. Y'all take care. Ciao.